Hi there, and um, here we are in front of the official residence of the Nigeria Eye Commission, that is the ambassador to the United Kingdom from Nigeria. Um, it's um, people with diverse opinions and views are here at the moment. Some are asking Buari to go back to Nigeria, while some are here for pray for Nigeria. That is, they are praying for um, the success of the government in power at the moment that may the almighty god lead them so that they know what to do and about the situation back home in nigeria at the moment so, um, they are kind of divided but there is more of those praying for nigeria at the moment um, this is easter monday in london i'll keep you posted I have with me, what's your name? Otumba Eric Ayola. Why are you here? I can, you are in front of the um, official residence of the ambassador to the United Kingdom from Nigeria, the uh, Abuja House. Why Absolutely. are you here? Why? Uh, we're here for two main reasons. Mm. We're here to intercede on behalf of our nation, Nigeria, to send prayers to the God Almighty. This is a season in which we all know Easter mm. period, mm. where God gave his son and he was resurrected. Hmm. So this is a season of prayer for intercession, and that's exactly why we're here. Oh. Intercede for our country by prayers. Intercede for our president by prayers. Oh, you're Two not minutes. here to protest that Buhari left the country to come over here? Not at all. And I don't understand why some people feel they have to protest. But again, as I always say, protesting without knowing the underlying reasons or the underlying causes, and perhaps not even knowing why you're protesting, is actually quite counterproductive. Uh, mm. You know, uh, people are saying things about the, the health facility in Nigeria. Is yes. that the reason why the president is there? The president is there because, yes, he's been receiving consultation even before he became president with his consultants here. And he has medical challenges. He's not coming out shopping at Knightsbridge or Arrods, flying mm. up half of London. He's coming to seek medical uh, consultation a week, two weeks, and return back to his duty post in Nigeria. That's what, that's all. So, uh, you think it's right for the president to leave his country? Where is the head of that place and he's supposed to provide good health facilities? What is that telling the, um, the world? Is that saying, oh, you don't have that health facilities, me, I will take care of myself. Others who haven't gotten that, you know, that money to do that, to fly abroad and do that, can't do it. So take on that. My, my take on that is this. <clears throat> if I were to answer your question directly, mm. the president should be able to secure and obtain good, outstanding, sterling medical uh, treatment in Nigeria. That is the norm. That is the ideal. However, we have an endemic situation long before the president's coming, which means that our health services, our health infrastructure, health facilities have suffered a great deal. Hmm. President Buhari, since he came into power, has increased the medical budget, health budget, by about almost 100 million, uh, billion naira. However, the problem is so endemic, it's long standard and it's going to take a long time for it to be repaired. It's not something we can see the difference overnight. No, sir. No, no sir. Mm, I see. I see and what you whilst mean. we're waiting for that to happen, we cannot jeopardize the, the health of President Barry, nor indeed of all the Nigerians who actually come into the UK to seek medical advice. And lastly, mm. the UK NHS makes millions of pounds mm. every year mm. on medical tourism. You know, People right. coming from all over the world to avail themselves of the sterling medical facilities in the UK, including the late uh, King of Saudi Arabia, who came in to have his back problem solved. And President Buhari is actually not the only president around the world, perhaps flying quietly to the UK for medical treatment and go back to the country. But the salient thing, the mm. salient thing is mm. that the president is not an inhumane person. He's not just flying there and leaving us to, 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 to eat all. He's actually putting a great deal into developing the health infrastructure of that country, perhaps much more than any of his predecessors. I think the only time comparable, I'd say, was when Professor Oliko Iran was Health Minister, Minister of Health. Mm. And he did a lot in terms of basic health facilities. Mm. And since that time, there's been a, 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 a lacuna. But then President Barrio is coming and has really put more into it than any of his predecessors. Wow. And I think we should acknowledge that. That's right. Let, let's, let's leave that aside. <laughs> what There's been so much agit agitation about Odua Republic, go your own way, you go out your own way, we don't want to be a Nigeria anymore, there's no Nigeria. What, 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 you've been hearing that, I believe. I have been. I always so, say to people, I'm a Yoruba 
nationalism. Yes. But I, know I believe I know Tumba yeah. Albert Shunan, and I put a lot back into my community as I know a lot of people do. It. What I say, my mantra is this I want a Yoruba nation at peace with itself and at peace with its neighbors. Mm. I don't want a Yoruba nation born out of acrimony. I don't want a Yoruba nation born out of being chased out of Nigeria by the so called Fulani others. That is not something I want to go on in history, that the great Yoruba nation mm. ran out of Nigeria because some people ran them out. No way. And that paranoia, that victim mentality, that defeatist attitude mm. of a lot of the current Nigerian Yoruba separatists mm. is so demeaning to the Odua nation that I want to see. Right. If at any time in the future, Odua nation, the majority of our people, the majority of our people, because right now we have people speaking for us who do not have the mandate whatsoever. You go and look at the membership makeup of this so-called plethora of Odua nation separatist movement. Perhaps 2,000 max. Hmm. They do not speak for us because they don't have the money to the majority of Yoruba people. Hmm. If and when the time comes, we will do it in an orderly way, in an organized fashion, and we'll be better for it, and we'll be at peace with our neighbors, and we'll do good out of it. That's my time. Thank you very much, Otumba. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So that if you go, like, if you don't want war, we don't want peace. We want peace. Let us yeah, ask God yeah. to give us peace. For peace to reign in Nigeria. To peace to reign in the life of the president. Amen. Let us ask for God to defy healing upon his life. Whatever the devil is doing in his life, you know, let us ask God you know, to take control of the life of our president, the family. Amen. 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 I want us to take our lead. Amen. Amen. From the word of God. In Isaiah 62, verse 1. Amen. So we're going to pray for the sake of Nigeria. And give him good, good give him good health as well. Because wet, I mean uh, health is wet. Amen. Let us pray that oh Lord, Lord, heal the land. Our, our land, Nigeria, in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, heal the land in the name of Jesus. Heal our land in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, heal our land in the name of Jesus. Enough is enough of blood shed. Enough is enough of blood shed. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, heal our land. Let's be loud in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray in the name of good health. In the name of Jesus, for our leader, for our president, yes, vice president, and the people that support him, that advise him, God to give them good health in the name of Jesus. Lord, good health in the name of Jesus. Yes, for the sake of innocent Nigeria, in the name of grant our leader good health in the name of Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, you can introduce yourself. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 Jesus. Yes,
it is completely out of order to say that someone who was as ill as our president a couple of years ago, about two years ago, that our president was so sick that we feared for his life, mm. that the man does not have a right to, to see his physicians. Mm. It is a, the equivalent, in my opinion, to denying the man the right to life. Mm. The man surely has the right to life. And as a doctor, if I treated a patient that was as ill as Mr. President, I want to see that patient on a regular basis. I want to review that patient. I want to be sure that the patient is doing well. Therefore, it is important that he's here to do this. So this is the final statement I want to make on that. On that. Yes, but because I'll, I'll, draw, I'll bring you back a bit. Yes. People are saying, some of the people who are complaining or protesting, yes. the main bone of contention is that if Mr. President thinks if the health system in Nigeria is good enough, why does he have to travel abroad to come for a uh, checkup? And what would others do who don't have the wherewithal or the power, the money, you know, financial yeah, yeah. Well, power to, to, to be able to yes. come over. So I completely that agree. A I co totally agree with such sentiments. I do not argue and I do not quarrel with such sentiments in at all. Jesus, I believe that Nigeria, mm. given our our human and you know resources, we have doctors across the world. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. a doctor like you. Yeah, yeah. I I totally agree with such sentiments. It is only professionally right. That his physicians keep seeing him. His physicians review his case. Okay. His physicians keep up to date with his case. There's one other thing that is growing. I think back home seriously now. The agitation for Ujwa Republic. You have um, any comment about that? I strongly personally believe in the political structure of Nigeria. I have been a member of the movement for, movement for national reformation. Okay. I was formerly led by the late Chief Okay. Since 1992. Our primary campaign uh, issue has always been that Nigeria needs to be politically restructured for equity, for, the, for true federalism. True federalism. Okay. Strongly so too. Mm. But I do not agree that the breakup of Nigeria will be Right. And we have examples why that should be scary to every one of us. South Sudan broke away from Sudan. We can see what is happening in South Sudan. Eritrea broke away from Ethiopia. We can see what is happening in Eritrea. How are we so sure that people do not republic is created today? The Ijebus and the Eba, the Ijeshanoda shall not that we solidly all begin to work together. Mm. Stronger we are together. We can stay together and celebrate our diversity. Nigeria is a multi-ethnic, multi-religious country. We are uniquely endowed. Nigeria can be a great country to be a pride to Nigerians and to Africans. I do not, to be honest and to be clear, I do not agree with the, the idea that breaking up Nigeria is a solution for our problem. It will, it will not be. It will not be. It will not be. Thank you very much, Dr. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You can see thus far it's been peaceful and uh, people are trickling in and um, well, it's been very good. Um, with many people, you know, leading the prayers, and we just pray that may the Lord Almighty answer all the prayers that they've prayed about Nigeria today. Yes. Today, Lord, we don't come and stand on our own accord, but we come and we stand with your word, yes. and we stand with your Holy Spirit, yes. because we know that it is you that can change Nigeria, yes. no one else. It is you that can raise the youth up. There is power, power in the blood. In the blood. There is power, power in the blood. In the blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, in America, in London, in London, in the name of Jesus. Let us be clear on this ground today that as this 
Bank is dropping in the air. And as we sing the national anthem today, the glory of God will come down. Hi there, and how are you? I'm good, thank you. Could you have your name, please? I'm Adero Tomori. Dr. Tomori, why are you here today? It's Easter Monday. Yes, indeed. It is. I'm here to pray for Nigeria. What do you mean, pray for Nigeria? Nigeria is in dire situations and we do not seem to know where to turn or what to do. Even that we have a constitution, even that we have elected leaders, we seem not to know what to do. We've come here to pray for Nigeria. We've come here to pray for our leaders. We've come here to pray for Nigerian citizens that God will make an outpour of heavenly justice for them. And that God will heal our land because he promised to, he said, we that follow him, when we humble ourselves and call upon him, he will hear from above and grant our wishes and heal our land. Mr. President, may God grant you and other leaders the wisdom to take Nigeria high. What's your take about this um, agitation for an Odua nation? Um, that Nigeria should go their different ways. I do not think it's the time to talk about going different ways. I mean, divided we fall. And going different ways, you said Odua, there is a Yoruba nation. There is a Omoluabi, different sects within the Yoruba nation you talked about. Is there a manifesto? Is there an appointed leader? Yorubas have qualified people. But then there is constructive ways and manners of doing things. Nigeria can still work together. So united we shall rise. What then have you got to say to those agitating for, for Nigeria to go their different ways? For Nigerians agitating to go their different ways, it's your right, but is that what Nigeria needs today? When we go different ways, what, what's the plan on ground for going different ways? Is that going to be a peaceful separation or we're sending us back to before independence? My advice to us, to those who are agitating to go different ways, is to pull yourselves together. Let us be one, united Nigeria. Even that we may have to go to together, there could be United States of Nigeria. Uh, the president of Nigeria, President Buhari, is presently in London. Yes. For medical checkup. Check yes. Is it not a shame on Nigeria that uh, our president, because I'm Nigerian, to come over here for checkups. At this stage, Nigeria ca cannot boast of medical centers to take care of the president. If your medical um, team from ages before you became the president has been Mr. XYZ in Ingram or wherever nation, yes, you would want to keep up with that. But what are you doing about Nigerians who cannot afford it. That is the only query I would have about that. There's nothing wrong with him coming over for here for medical, but there's something wrong in him not setting up. He has had almost two terms now, Mr. President. Six years. Six years. Six years is enough to put the medical healthcare situation in Nigeria under wrap, sir. Because I do remember you promised. Thank you very much, Dr. Tamari. I'll let you off now to continue your prayers. Thank you very much. So they don't decree peace over the president right now. So do mother not see to, to turn the life of Nigeria around and the life of the president. So you know, to turn the life of Now I have, a, I have my brother here. What is his name? Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Osman Tijani and uh, I'm living in the United Kingdom. Good. I'm the ATC uh, UK Youth Leader. Uh, we are here this evening to pray for Mr. President. 
for speedy recovery of Mr. President and uh, to ensure Mr. President has gotten a good health to come back to Nigeria and do the good things that he has been doing for the Nigerians and Nigerians as well. Very good. And uh, that's the focus of us uh, gathering here from the Manchester, from Sheffield, from uh, Scotland, all over, UK. all over the UK. We are here to pray for Mr. President for his uh, quick and speedy recovery as well. Wow. Say it in Hausa. Tell us, tell us the thing you have just said. Uh, in briefly as in Hausa. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sunana Dr. Usman Tizani Shewu. Ina rikeda sarawata ta isa Hausa wan turai. Kuma day daga cikin shuwa babannin matasa na jabiyar APC na nan kasar Burtaniya. Muna nan Abuja House da ke birnin London domin gudanar da addu'o'i na samun lafiya ga mai girma shugaban kasa Muhammadu Buhari domin ya samu karfin guiwa da kuzari ya dawo Najeriya ya ci gaba da ayyukan alkhairi daga inda aka tura muna fata Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya ba wa shugaban kasa Muhammadu Buhari lafiya sannan ya ba shi kwarin guiwa na ci gaba da ayyukan alkhairi wanda ya saba yi a kwanakin baya an samu wasu fatagari mutane marasa daraja wa'anda suka zo suka yi rashin da a wannan guri kuma muna kira ga gwamnati kuma za mu mika takaddu da koke domin ganin cewa wa'annan mutane gwamnati ta hukunta su bisa abin da suka aikata na rashin da muna tare da shugaban kasa Muhammadu Buhari kuma za mu shiga ba da bashi goyen baya da gudunmowa 900 da duk inda muke ba ma anan birnin London ba a duk duniya baki daya muna fata Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya ba shi gaban kasa lafiya Allah ya tashi kafadin sa Allah ya ba shi kwarin guyuwa har watar da ayyukan alkhairi baki daya na gode wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala na gode na gode thank you karin bayani eh na ji dadin wannan ka ga mu komai amma dole in kara cewa abin da ya kawo nan particular is to you know the you Buhari President Muhammad Buhari Guria and you can do it at one day to you Mungkin kan? Cuma mana melayu? Cuma mana mana atau aja Allah semua tu atau Allah yang arah ini Malaysia. Cuma ya sa tujuh 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 ya tu iring sambil ke tu Allah sa cuma mana mungkin di sini ada tu ya cuma Abu Bali. Amma gua mesti cai pada Muhammad Bari. Allah baca Malaysia. Allah biar Allah baca Lada. Cuma mesti ada nanti bahasa gaji wanda cuma sekarang ni mana sa adil si. ก็จะเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจอเจ
We are still in front of the official residence of uh, Nigeria High Commissioner in the United Kingdom, London to be specific, um, in Kensington. And um, there are uh, a lot of crumb de la crumb of um, Nigerians who live in the diaspora here. With me is uh, Mr. Bolaji Lewis. I know him as the chairman Nigerian think tank group worldwide. And um, I can see that he delivered some prayers as well there. Mr. Lewis, are you here as a Nigerian? Yes, a concerned Nigerian or as chairman NTTG? I'm here as a Nigerian. Why? What are you doing? I don't understand this. Um, you are praying, some people are protesting, you are praying for Nigeria. What, what's the problem here? The, what we are doing today is actually a point of contact to our country, Nigeria. Hmm. This is an opportunity for us to pray and pray fervently for the country. Because if everything is fine in Nigeria, it is also fine for us, those who visit, and for our folks, our, our families and friends who are in Nigeria. So what we are doing, we are doing for ourselves. To be able to have that opportunity of being able to be in Nigeria and mm. also make sure that the name of Nigeria remains and is lifted up from the depth where it is today. And the leaders are working fervently. We know that it is quite painful at this time in Nigeria. But you know what? When the eagle, which symbolizes our strength in Nigeria, is ready to fly and to renew its strength, it is a painful process. So we are pluming the wings of the eagle and getting it ready to fly. And that is what is happening now. It might be painful, though cry might go all night, but there is joy in the morning. Good morning. Thank you. So what would you say to those people who are clamoring for, um, you know, Nigerian going their different ways, like um, Odua Republic and all those people at this moment in time? We are stronger together. That's your straight answer. We are stronger together. When you look at a family, a family come together as a unit to fight and conquer. And that is what I hope we can do. And we have our different strengths. So let us work on our individual strengths for the commonality of all. That's my message. Right, finally, um, there's been this, the protest um, is mainly about um, the president coming over here for medical all the time, well, for checkups and so on. They are trying, they're, they're telling us, the, the, the Nigerians who are protesting are saying, what is that telling the old world? That is, we don't have a good medical um, facilities or what? The little I know about the medical profession, mm. if you have an issue or you have been seeing a particular physician for several years, it is the general norm to stay with the physician. Mm -hmm. And that's what now. the president is doing. Especially somebody who have actually gone through a very difficult uh, illness. And that is what is being done now. Oh, I see. I'll leave you to join them. Thank, you, Thank you very much, Mr. Louis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
that we're still in the in front of the residence, the official residence of the Nigeria High Commissioner to the UK from the, you know Abuja House in Kensington. And like I told you earlier as well, that we have the creme de la creme of Nigerians in the society within the UK here. I have with me Ade Omole, who I Prince call... Prince Ade Omole. Prince Ade Omole. Thank you for the correction. APC UK leader, That's the right. chairman of the Nigeria Diaspora Voting Council, is and a known Nigerian community leader in the United Kingdom. Fantastic. Why are you here in front of the icon? We're here this afternoon. The members of uh, Nigerians in the diaspora are here yeah. this afternoon to show support for the federal, for the uh, pre for Mr. President, President Muhammad Buhari, for the giant strikes and for the good things and great things he's doing in Nigeria. We love what he's doing. We love what he did uh, when he was voted in 2015. And the fact that in 2019, that mandate was actually also renewed in 2019. We will keep supporting him. Yes, we're not where we should be, but we have left where we used to be. It's not easy. It's not easy to actually rule any country. And we're saying that, yes, there are challenges, but we will do our best to support. We will do our best, not just to come here and show support, but also to ensure that we provide resources from the diaspora that will help Mr. President to achieve this next level, uh, this next level tendencies. And we do, we're sure. We know that the president um, has actually implemented, is, this administration has implemented people-oriented policies, youth-oriented policies. So what is the problem? We're asking Nigerians and we're asking people to say, give this man a chance. He's been voted in by majority of Nigerians in Nigeria. He is the man of the day. He's the man who walks the talk. He's the man who's actually ready to take Nigeria to the next level. And Nigeria is on the next level. We're on the way to the next level. So we're here to pray for him. We will keep praying for him to succeed because when, if he succeeds, we all succeed. If he succeeds, Nigeria succeeds. So we're here today. We're here today with uh, all our members. You can yeah. see them there. You can see them all over. And we're saying, no matter what happens, we're here to support you. Mr. President, ride on. It's not easy. We know there are challenges, but we will resolve those challenges because we're Nigerian. Good. Thank you so much. Well, I did. Yes. Oh, 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 sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. People are protesting. Some people are protesting. What do you do? What do you, what do you, what do you do People can protest. It's, 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 it, it is their right to protest. We're not against people protesting. It's part of democracy. It's good for democracy. We encourage people to protest if they want to protest. But we are here today to, show, to also show support. As the minority is actually protesting, we, the majority, are actually supporting. So the minority will have their say. But the majority will carry the day. Can you see that? You see what's happening? What can I do? I will be in their midst. So, Lord. We join our faith together. I join my faith with the faith of everyone here. We pray for the Nigerians. We pray for the Nigerians. My name is Felix Adeoria Ajayi. Yes. Um, I'm the chieftain of the party in the other kingdom. Yes. Uh, I used to be a senior special assistant to the government of Lagos State and also a professor for environment in my local government in Lagos State. Fantastic. And I'm the chieftain of the party in the other kingdom. Fantastic. Now. I was asking Adi, why, what, what, what advice have we got to give those who are protesting that Buhari, our president, is abroad for medical? Is that not telling the world that we don't have good medical facilities? As the president of Nigeria, he has every right, like any other Nigerian, to seek medical wherever. attention for himself, wherever. And, like you know, the government is putting infrastructure in place to build World class hospital in Nigeria. The president has not committed any offense to seek medical attention abroad. And it's just for a medical checkup. So he has not abandoned the he medical abandoned health, health facilities health facility. to improve it over there. They're it improving. will take some time. It, you know, they are improving. And then before the end of this year, the government has a plan in place to deliver first class health facility in 
major state in Nigeria. So he has not abandoned. And the people protesting, yes, they can protest. They might not know. But we have urged the APC government to showcase all they are doing so that people will know, not that they will just keep it to themselves. Fantastic. Now, let's put that aside. There is been so much clamor for the Oduwa Republic, the agitation. What's your take on that? Now, people clamor in the recent past. Mm. There's clamor for the Oduwa Republic. Oduwa Republic, everybody is clamoring. Mm. When people get to some extent, they get frustrated. Mm. We look at the state of insecurity and all the stuff. And that is why the president has taken charge. He has ordered the military to shoot aside anyone seen with AK-47. Mm. The president has shown leadership. He has shown that he's the president of the, of the country. Yeah. So people saying they want to... They think it's so easy. Together, mm. we are stronger. Yeah. Together, we are better. Mm. So people clamoring to declare their own state or whatever, they are just acting in there. You understand? They, they, they won't get anywhere. Nigeria is going to be great. Just like you and I know. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I have here another very important person who lives in the diaspora, that he lives in the UK. Uh, Mr. Barista is a practicing lawyer in the UK, but he's a well-known figure when it comes to supporting his own in the United Kingdom. I have Barista J.K. Adebola with me. Please tell us, why are you here today? I'm just here to support our president and support our country. Um, in the last couple of days, we've had some discourse, you know, coming around and making a, a mess of themselves and um, making a show of shame about the country. So we're just here to, uh, uh, on a damage limitation exercise, if you like, um, and, um, you know, to show our solidarity for the country and, and for the party ruling at the moment, um, just to let them know that, you know, um, they have our support anytime for as long as they remain on the trajectory they are at the moment because whether we like to admit it or not this this, this government is doing fantastically well um you know um the, 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 the kind of solid foundation that we expected the previous government to to, to lay in the country which they did not do that is what this country is doing and i keep saying to everybody if that if the previous, if the previous government has done what this government government is doing now doing, yeah. nigeria would not be in the state we are in at the moment so and and we have to go through something to get to something. So if this country, if this government is doing something now, trying to put the country back on track, there will be some kind of discomfort along the way. So that discomfort is what we need to bear for now. And to look at the bigger picture, where this country is leading us. Because whether we like it or not, they are doing fantastically well. So for me, that is why I'm here now, uh, irrespective of the noise from, like I said, I call them miscreants, because it is only a fool that will not appreciate what this government is doing. Hmm. Wow. Well, there is another group of people clamoring or agitating for Odua State. That's What's your take on that? That's complete nonsense. I'm a Yoruba man. That's complete nonsense. What What are the indices then that cause talking that? about uh, people kidnapping and that uh, they've been marginalized and so on and so forth? Now, today is that. Yes, there are kidnapping, there are, there are challenges. These challenges were there when Jonathan was there. How come, at that time, how come they were, how come they were not, was, they were not clamoring no, for the door? Again, if you want to call, if you want me to support another door, have mm -hmm. you consulted me? Mm -hmm. Was there a, 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 a referendum? A Nothing was done. And even if I'm, going to, if I'm going to support anybody, I want to know your antecedents. What is your background? <laughs> what is your idea about this or the we're talking about? Where are you heading off? I'm not, I'm, not just going to, I'm not just going to follow anybody willingly because I'm not a fool. I'm educated, I'm exposed, I'm living in a, in, a, in, a, in a world where politics works. So I'm not just, not, not, I'm just not go, going to follow. I mean, in Odudua we have people of knowledge. So if I'm going to follow anybody, it's not going to be a town. I'm sorry, I have to use that word. It's not going to be a town. So bring me somebody who knows what he's doing. He knows where he's leading us. If, they, if they're talking of Odudua now, mm. I've, I've only said in every forum I've been mm. that it's, it is dead before arrival. Alati Olesha in Yoruba hmm. is dead before arrival. So, that being said, just for argument's sake, let's say, okay, somebody just woke up tomorrow by the end of magic, they say, okay, let's give it to them. Where are they going to put the, the capital? 
Mm. What programs do they have there for the Yoruba people? Mm. Where, where do they want to see the Oduduwa plate to the public? In, in fact, there's so much that the eyes cannot see. They cannot, they cannot tell you anything. Mm. Mm. All they just want is, and mm. as, far as, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, an Oduduwa, a true born of Oduduwa, will never ever insult a monarchy. Thank you. And this is what these idiots are doing. Odi Adilakwe, you don't mess up with monarchy. Yoruba land. I was, I've never Maybe you don't do it for your elders. I have, I have never, I have never lived in Yoruba land. I'm a house guy, but I understand the ethics of Yoruba because I'm a Yoruba man, even though I've never lived there. But Mumuakwe, lie, lie, Odi Adilakwe, if you want it. So if you want me to follow you and you are lambasting our, 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 our earth, they call them Ibake Jodisha. Yes. It has a meaning. Yes. Yes. So for you to come out and start, uh, mm, no, no, start something, no. that tells me it's got nothing upstairs and it haven't got anything, that's nothing you can give. So for me, I don't follow people like that. I'm sorry. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, the Paris Sajay Karibola. What's your name, sir? Pepe. Sylvester. Sylvester. Pepe. Um, why are you here? You are in front of the official residence of the Nigeria Commissioner for the UK. Yeah. Why here? We are here to pray for Mr. President. Mm -hmm. God to give him good health right. and grant him long life and grant him wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to lead our country to the greatness and uh, the greatness that we desire and deserve. So we are praying here that God should continue to be with our president and guide him, and including all the leadership, all the leaders in Nigeria, all the members of the legislature, and all the uh, state governors, and all those that would leaders that matter even in the community in Nigeria. Yes, that's why we are praying for our president and for the country. What, do you, what, what, what message have you got for those who are protesting that the president has come here for medical? For, for Everybody has the right to life. The president, before he became president, already had his doctors from time here. So if he's come to see his doctors, which he has known for decades, for more than 30 years, there's nothing wrong for him to come and see the same doctors. Don't forget, they have his medical history. And in such, uh, at such, he, he will not want any error or mistake to be made. So he has a track record with them and no problem. So we, I think he has a right to life and a right to medication from uh, medical uh, attention or assistance from his uh, medical doctors. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Dr. Lee Badeji. He must have been seeing his write ups in the newspapers. Yes. So I'm very vocal. Yes. And he's a member of the All Progressive Congress. Yes. I call him one of the touch members yes. you know, of APC UK. Yeah. Why here? Why are you praying in front of the official residence? Of because the, yeah, we're praying here because the president is around. He's here. We're here to show our love for him. We are here 
to show, to let God know that his life matters to Nigeria. I will pray for him long life. We pray for Nigeria. We pray for the prosperity of that country. We pray for unity. That it's when we are together, mm. we can move forward. It is when we are united, we can progress. So that's why we are here. For the unity of our people. That we are stronger together. So that the country can move forward. Okay, now Lee, what message have you got for those people who are protesting that the president has kept the country to come from Bengal? Um, my message for them is that most of them, they don't know what is happening. Mm. Most of them have left home for a long time. But I'm going to say to you guys that you don't need to get angry. Let's come together. We need to come together to make a progress. The country is good. Our father's land is good. We can only get there if we work with the president. By coming to the Nigeria House, consulting the president, that does not show who we are. That's not our culture. We need to come together. Rome was not built a day. No. Let's support him so that we can make Nigeria great again. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the last but not the least, there are people agitating for Oduwa Republic. Do you have a take on that? <laughs> uh, it, 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 you know, it, 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 most of them don't know what's going on about about Green Republic. Hmm. Going to where? We are stronger together. We are interwoven. The Northerners have married the Westerners. The Westerners have married the... All of us are together. We are all living together. People living in Kaduna and people living in Lagos. Are they... What about people live, who, who, who are from Kaduna? Who beat us in Lagos? Who even contest in Lagos? So what are we going to say? That? Are they not women? Are they not Nigerians? So how we advise, my advice to them is that instead of them going for republic, they should make it... Nigeria, that make Nigeria great again. Because it is when we are united, we can make ahead. So it's best for us to uni be united. So I don't think they are, they, I, I will say to them, you cannot just say you want to go without knowing where you are going. Uh, even though you need the Republic, you need to know, you have to have plans. I don't think they have plans yet. And you cannot just go to, go to the Republic, Without a referendum, yes. I'm a I'm a I'm a Yoruba man. No, Nobody has consulted me. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna if I'm gonna go if I'm gonna go public, we need to make it public to the people. You need to declare referendum. Nobody has consulted anybody. So I will advise them that they're going nowhere. They should come back, support the president, make Nigeria get again, come back home, contribute your quota, do even though it's little. Support your people. Stop going in a way that people don't understand that you're going uh, republic. Go where? Come back home and support your people. Thank you. Thank you very much. Man. Can you just us on mass so they know we speak? Just a short one. God bless Nigeria. Bless you. Yeah. We pray for unity. Yeah, Let your unity and peace and love reign in the name. Okay, um, I will ask you in English, then you answer in our service. Okay. Yes, in the word of God, sir, but for the peace of Nigeria, yes, in the name of Jesus, in the name of we shall not rise, in the name of Jesus, for the peace reign, we come back to Nigeria. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We're going to pray again. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. touch our leaders. Touch our leaders. Empower our leaders. Empower our leaders. And touch our leaders. Empower our leaders. Touch our leaders. Touch our leaders. Empower our leaders. To do your will in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord. Touch our leaders, Nigeria leaders, to do your will in the name of Jesus. I go to touch our leaders. 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 In the name of Jesus. Empower our leaders. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 To pray again. Oh Lord. Expose. Every wicked elder. Every wicked.
Every week, as we receive, in Nigeria, oh Lord, expose us in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray again, oh Lord, expose every wicked elder, every wicked youth, every week, as we receive, in Nigeria, oh Lord, expose us in the name of Jesus. Every wicked elder, every wicked youth, every wicked mischief in Nigeria, 